history. Transformation. I believe that he always felt that there was some underlying order and coherence in the universe. No field intimidated him. Everything he read, he sort of wove it into a picture. When I was young, I and my brother fished out there beyond the maelstrom. Those what I saw was this gave us great fish. buccaneer of the world sailing out looking for islands where the spray was thrown up by an encounter of a hard word with a soft word. That's why I think of him as a poet. That is a creator metaphor who takes all those chances as a poet does. His joy was to relate things that other people thought were unrelated. When I have had a bit more philosophy and psychology, I'm going to work out some of the great laws that govern the affairs of men, temporal and spiritual. I believe it will be the biggest step ever taken in philosophy if a hundred or so of these laws could be worked out and studied. The laws of the media are observations on the operation and effects of human artifacts on man and society. They are at least a hope that we can reduce this confusion to some sort of order. He said, the laws of media, they come in hope but they only work as questions. What will you gain? What will you lose? What will return from an ancient time? And what will come of this thing you create if you let it go too far? There's no order to the laws of media. All these effects are happening all the time. The trick is to recognize the pattern before it is complete. Kierkegaard is a man of great relevance for this time. A man of the inner trip, the inner dialogue, the inner encounter. He has a wonderful quote. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. <laughs> 